Hello and uh, welcome to my channel, David Madison, The Guardian. Um, it's a channel about the synthesis of hard science and metaphysics in order to basically achieve the life of your dreams. So in this video, we're going to do telekinesis, but a special form of it um, called electrokinesis, basically moving electricity in a light. So in an earlier video, I talked about how let the universe lead you. Um, don't try to force your way into making something happen. And I talked about like expanding your circle of where you walk or where you drive in order to observe more things <clears throat> so that you have the possibility of running into like um, that the law of attraction provides you with examples and, and kind of your higher self starts to move you in the direction of experiencing something like telekinesis, like electrokinesis. So something very interesting, this Starbucks here, this light over here on the right was the one that used to blink. And this one wouldn't blink at all. Um, I'm over here at uh, Wahoo's getting myself a fish burrito and I'm just waiting for them to come outside to give it to me. But while I wait, I thought I would take a little time to make a video and, you know, practice electrokinesis. And what I found is if you just follow the energy, the energy being um, kind of manifested itself as this blinking light, okay? So I walk around, everything else is normal. Oh, what's out of place? Well, here's a, here's a light that's, that seems to be responsive to, to my noticing it. That's what you want to practice with. Now, the hardcore telekinetic, the one that's going to use sheer willpower and force their way through, they want to pierce a hole through the universe, the fabric of the universe, they want to reverse time, all that kind of crazy stuff. Like, eventually they'll be able to do it if they try hard enough and, and spend enough time doing it and are consistent enough and get all the right variables together. But I tell you what, the payoff seems to be minimal compared to all the effort and angst and, uh, I don't know, pain and frustration, emotional tur tur turmoil, like all that stuff. And the time that it takes to get the result. Whereas if you go over here, this thing is already in a state of flux. It's already said to me, hey, uh, I'm aware of you. And uh, as you're looking at me, I'm, I'm changing my behavior. Look at me. It's, 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 it's saying, look at me. So as I look at it, it changes its frequency. And in time, as I pay attention to the rate of it flickering, or getting brighter, or getting dimmer, or turning off, or turning on, um, I'm also feeling things in my body. I think just the mere observance of what's outside of you, once you understand that something inside of you can help produce or affect, influence what's outside of you, I think the mere subconscious understanding of that is enough. So what you do is you focus on the light and you don't have to try really hard and be like, I'm going to force it to do this. Or I'm going to force it to do that. What you do is you observe it and some part of you will like, you'll feel tension inside your body in certain places. And if your mind is calm enough, it will start to register these sensations and record them and record the sequence of those sensations so that you begin to create a kind of like an energetic language for yourself. And then in time, you won't just affect things haphazardly, 
but you'll have control over the things that you affect and the, the things that you influence. And so that light's going off. This light isn't, but <clears throat> I have a sneaking suspicion that if I walk over here and I concentrate on this light, that I can get it to flicker. In fact, at one point, while I was looking at it, a while back, and it hadn't done this ever before, and I've been in Boulder for, you know, since 2008, like Thanksgiving, so it's never done this, but it actually shut off, and then it turned back on. And before it did that, it like went way bright, it flickered, flickered, slowed down, flickering, and then went off. So whether this shows up on video or not, I just wanted to give you guys this, the possible science explanations, hey there, and the methods of, of getting really good at telekinesis and different forms of it. So because I haven't like played with this light for a while, I might have trouble influencing it. That's okay. It doesn't matter. What matters is that light was influenced by me and it changed its characteristic, like its rate of flickering when I noticed it. It changed intensity. Maybe? Yeah, uh, just right there is cool. Thank you. And, and so over time, what'll happen is I'll be able to, just like I can take the wind you know, a wind wind in a certain area and move it over here, the same kind of thing will happen where I can take my intention for the light, right? And I can move that. It's almost like placing a template of the way that this is behaving onto that light there. And I haven't mastered this. I'm far from mastering it, but I'm on my way. Um, I did the same thing actually healing myself. So I had a good leg, but I was about to die from MRSA staph infection. I was laying in the hospital. I had this goose-sized, like, thing on my leg, which was flesh-eating disease. And it had, it had blown up almost like a baseball. It was, like, purple. And they had to, they had to take these these things and split open my leg and clean it out and rinse it scrub it um, and then and then uh, and then stuff it with gauze and then even after that they had to pump my veins with what's called vancomycin which you know if you have too much of that it starts to eat away the inner lining of your veins which is not good because then you won't have any more veins um, and what I did is I just, I just took the good leg and I used it as a template. And I kept looking over here and I was like, this is how this one feels. This is how this one looks, right? I feel good when I look at this leg, I feel good about it. Like it's functional, like all that kind of stuff. And I just kept placing that template over this leg. And guess what? I was in the Boulder Hospital and surgeons and doctors, and nurses or whatever came to me. And in two weeks, they let me out and they said, you know, uh, we've hardly ever seen this or maybe we've never seen this. Uh, people should, you know, you in, in the condition that you were in, that you've been in, uh, you should have been in here for months. For months. And yet I got out of there in two weeks. So this, this has applications, not just for like making this light turn on and turn off, right? It's about, it's about a much wider application, okay? Like, look at that, it totally changed its character. Now it's blinking faster, okay? All right, this is kind of a long video.
Um, I try to keep my videos below 10 minutes, but every once in a while something's really important and I want to, I want to get the concepts across. <clears throat> Such as in this video. But uh, let's close it down now. Until next time, peace and be well.